Looking for something fun to watch? The KJ Today Show has you covered. We're bringing Hollywood to Indianapolis and positive vibes to our community. It's pop culture, people to know, and pets. Watch it happen live Wednesdays at 7 on YouTube or catch up on demand. Welcome to the KJ Today Show. We are powered by PopCon and the Town Post Network, and we are excited to bring you tonight a full hour of fun. This is the positive vibes of pop culture, people to know, and pets. Jonna, we do not have any surprise guests tonight. You Mom, are welcome for that. Wait, do you have a surprise guest? Uh, technically, our guest tonight was a surprise to me because he's live and that that was a surprise to me really that was definitely a surprise to me. okay all right so i can't hear you in my I, can't, I can't hear you either john <laughs> <laughs> uh patches can you hear us okay because we just i can little... hear you i can't hear jonah okay. barely. Oh. i can barely all right, hear jonah. all right stand by stand we by. are experiencing technical difficulties as we do all as the time we do all this right. is our life all right. How's that? How are we sounding, Patches? We sounding yeah, good? Yeah, good, good, good. Okay. All right. Sounding good. All, All right. right. Go team. All right. Glad Go we're team. doing this. This is, uh, <laughs> this is the fun of having a live show. Uh, <laughs> anything can happen. So, uh, first of all, we have got some things that we would love for you to join in. This is a little bit of a different show. You know, you, you, you watch a variety of shows of some kind. They're not asking for your opinion on things. We're always asking for your opinion on things. This is your show. Uh, we want you to sign up for the KJ Crew if you haven't yet. That's how you get your crew number and we give away fabulous prizes like Paw Patrol tickets. Uh, comment, interact, and most of all, just have a really good time. Now, if you do have some good news, please uh, hop in the comments with your good news. Tell us something good. Later in the show, we're gonna do a round of tell me something good. And uh, if you have not seen Don't Screw the Crew, we're actually going to play Don't Screw the Crew tonight a little bit early, mm -hmm. Jada. We're going to play Don't Screw the Crew before our special guest gets here because I want to have plenty of time uh, because I know we have a lot of people tuned in to uh, see Kevin tonight on the show. Kevin Fertig, a.k.a. Kevin Thorne. Okay. Also, Jada, known as Mordecai. Hey, he look, had... man, he, again, surprise to me. <laughs> I don't know how many times last week I stressed that Kevin was going to be live and that he, to who, to me? Yeah. And that he would be here. Like, I don't. Next week's going to be great. We got a live guest. Yeah, it's but I thought that meant like his, like his, like, you know, when I, you know, edit the audio or whatever, I thought no. that was going to be like what that was. No, like, no, no. Literally I was, KJ was like, I was like, send me Kevin's interview. She was like, Kevin's going to be live. I was like, since when? I was like, I haven't interviewed him yet. He's going to be on the show. She was like, <laughs> The whole time he's been live. And I was like, well, that is news to me. So here's the cool thing about Kevin. He is, uh, he's local. So maybe you've been a wrestling fan forever. Uh, I did not realize, you know, I have uh, learned a lot about wrestling from being married to producer Patches. I didn't realize that Kevin Thorne was here and he's having quite a life with his real estate companies so Kevin, i need a house for i know three dollars like, preferably i don't know that he can help you with that jonna but okay. he can he can he can work so when i decide to buy a magic. house i'm gonna call kevin and be like kevin yes. i need a house help me you can buy with the champ i will buy with the champ right i will i will too let's i mean i already got a house you're gonna buy me a house 
<laughs> in case I need a cosign or something you know, for you. <laughs> It'll be helpful probably to have a cosigner. I promise I'll pay all the bills. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for checking in. I see Mary Beth is checking in, crew 21, Leanne, crew number 10. Josh, uh, Josh Chitwood, do you have a crew number? You go to kjcrew.com and you get yourself one right now. Josh is one of the uh, Circle City Ghostbusters. I did know that. We'll be having some fun with him again at PopCon this year. More on that coming up. But you guys have uh, Thanks, been, Leanne. just been, so, oh man, she loves your hair, Jonna. Thank you. I got my hair done yesterday and she didn't say she loved my hair. Oh, my hair is more of a drastic difference than yours is. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true be because we are getting ready. Uh, the next time we are live on the KJ Today Show, Jada will be able to say. I that, will be able to say that I did this. That she has met Chris Evans. Like that it happened. <laughs> Honestly, I might not be here next week because I'll still be doing this to Chris Evans. Uh, you know, they are going to uh, have to escort you out of the room if you That's continue fine. to to try to do That's such fine. things. I hope you got bail money. You know what? Before we get to uh, dumb jokes, let's relive uh, uh, the moment. Donna <laughs> found out she was going to meet Chris Evans and then decided to just like rage on us about it. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Was. I'm yeah. sure you did because you guys are a couple of heifers, and you always get in the hangout with my man. And nobody ever invites me to go hang out with my man. Like, excuse me, and now he's coming to see 2 e 2 and I'm like, I'm going. Oh I'm gonna get up there, and I'm gonna hug on my man and never let go. <laughs> this is gonna be me <laughs> when I meet Chris Evans. What is happening to our show right now? <laughs> Yeah, oh, look, man, that, yeah. that was a very emotional week that I had. And that was even before I knew, before the anonymous oh, buying yes. of the ticket. That was before that. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, an anonymous donor made sure that Jada was able to meet Chris Evans, which is all sold out this weekend at C2E2. I saw a uh, new crew member, Bradley, checked in tonight. Thank you very much for getting your crew number. I believe uh, crew number 121. We're getting up there. Uh, all right. Before we get to what's popping, before we get to Kevin Fertig a.k.a. Kevin Thorne. Uh, I'm going to ask him when he gets on, like, how do you want me to call you? Do you want me to call you Kevin Thorne? Like, what are we doing here? Do I address you as the champ? The champ. <laughs> I'm just going to call. I'm going to be like, well, I can't say the champ is here because isn't that what John Cena says? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. All right. We'll figure it John out. John Cena doesn't even like wrestle anymore. So I don't think that, I mean, like nobody really wrestles anymore. He, I mean, he's, he's at WrestleMania this year. Is oh, he? patches. Well, patches, you so are very loud. loud. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> <this year. laughs> Clearly, we didn't do any mic checks. <laughs> uh, we were more concerned with patches making bacon before the show. We yeah, that's did not true. do mic checks. It was about the bacon. All right. Uh, you guys have been submitting more dumb jokes. It's become a, a favorite segment here. So let's get it's right to it. It's my favorite segment. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Man, it is time for dumb jokes. You should get like a laughing <laughs> sound effect in the background. <laughs> <laughs> right, get the old again. sitcom studio audience laugh. Oh, I like that. With the <laughs> 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 well, for now, it's stuff. just us. So let's do uh, uh, take two. Dumb jokes. Dumb joke. What do you call a pile of cats, Jonna? I don't know, KJ. What do you call it? A mountain. <laughs> I was just going to say KJ's house, but you know. <laughs> what is KJ's house? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. Dumb joke number two. Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? I mean, probably because she's running around in glass slippers. Why but was I don't know. Cinderella so bad at soccer? Patches, stop screaming. She kept really running up. You are really You're loud. Super it loud. might just be in our uh, in our earphones because because she kept running ball. away from the ball. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so let's funny. do that one more time. Please. I like that little graphic you have. Thank you. Thank you. Like she's the Cinderella's like. Because she kept running away from the ball. All right. I, I need a clean take on this one. I need a clean right. take here, guys. Right. Okay, uh-huh. here we go. Take two. Why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? I don't know, KJ. Why? Because she kept running away from the ball. (laughs) Thank you very much. All right. And our final dumb joke of the night comes from KJ crew number 21, Mary Beth. Thank you for sending this to me on Instagram this weekend. I (laughs) LOL. What do you call a dinosaur that crashes his car? Oh, I know this one, but what? (laughs) And Johnny, you say, what do you call it? What dinosaur? do you call a dinosaur that crashes his car? Okay, take two. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> what do you call a dinosaur that crashes his car? I don't know. What? A, a Tyrannosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Uh, if you've got a dumb joke, you can submit them to us on our website. Go to kjtodayshow.com and click contact us or just email us kjtodayshow at gmail.com or, you know, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, shoot me a message just like Mary Beth did. Those are your dumb jokes for tonight coming up. Uh, very excited tonight. We've got a pet of the week and a tell me something good that are Star Wars themed and it wasn't even planned it wasn't planned it was just like it was just gonna happen and then coming up in two weeks we have a star wars guest emily swallow oh, is I'm going so sad to i won't gone. be here i know john is gonna take a night off so gamer katie will be filling in for jonna emily swallow will be here from supernatural and the mandalorian uh, but tonight we have producer Jonna and all of the good vibes that comes along with what's popping in pop culture with executive producer Jonna. <laughs> Sound effect was so loud in my ear. Oh my god! It was. It was. All right. So, Patch's ultimate man crush. Ooh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, oh. or as we know him. Dwayne Johnson yes. or The Rock. <laughs> yes. Oh, we got some uh, uh, a wrestler kicking off. What's popping tonight? It's all just like a synergistic uh, thing it's that's like happening a win for Jonah. everybody, man. It's meant to be. I'm all right. listening. Well, yeah. KJ, did you see The Rock's uh, makeover that he got? I did. Look at The Rock. He got a makeover. <laughs> <laughs> His two daughters, Jasmine and Tiana, decided they wanted to give dad a makeover 10 minutes before he had a Zoom call. So. <laughs> That Zoom call <laughs> got canceled. <laughs> and and um, apparently that lipstick, it's lipstick that's all over his face, uh, stained his skin <laughs> as he was trying to wash it off. So <laughs> it, was, it was nice and pink for that Zoom call. And I think uh, uh, the rest of the day, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, John. I want to pop it. I because of who I am. Patches is my man crush. I think KJ would agree with you, Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was looking down, so I did not see the comment that came up. And for those who are listening on uh, on, on the podcast version of this, it just sounded like, Jonna, that you just announced that Patches was your man crush. How uh, embarrassing for um, me. I'm like, wait, no, he is, <laughs> he is your father. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> to clarify, Bradley said that in the comments. Oh. I was just reading. I just read things. I don't even like think about things. I just I read them and say them. Well, this loud. is why if you're listening during the podcast, uh, you know, we appreciate it. We love you being in the car and uh, however you're listening. But if you get a chance to join us live on Wednesday nights on YouTube, you know, you can you can pop in and talk about how Patches is your man crush. Nice. Now back to it. Yeah. Okay. I got the awesome opportunity to talk to Daniel Deemer, who I'm now uh, in love with. Chris Evans is still my number one. Mm -hmm. He's still Mm -hmm. still my number one. Mm -hmm. But look, when y'all y'all are going to watch a clip of the interview that I did with Daniel Deemer talking about uh, working on the new movie Supercell. And I want you to know that when you watch it, you're going to be like, why does this man look so good on a Zoom call? (laughs) What was it like to work with, you know, like Alec Baldwin and Ski Ulrich and and Hector? I mean, like, it must have been just like, the best learning experience for you as an actor 
Yeah, yeah, completely. That, I mean, they're they're all genuinely. My experience of all of them was was amazing from start to finish. They they were so generous. Um, they they respected me and my, and my even though I'm a younger actor coming into it. Um, they gave me space to do my thing, but they were also just really welcoming and supportive. Um, they it was yeah very very intimidating though. I mean, Alec, I, I've seen since I was a kid, um, and Anne, of course, I've I've known about and then skeet through through Riverdale. Um, but it, it, all all three of them were were really welcoming. So it was the the nerves kind of settled pretty quickly. But especially my first scene with Alec was, I was oh, I was terrified. He's so pretty. I know, right? <laughs> dude like you should have seen me like i was in the office and i'm like okay i'm gonna do this zoom call or whatever and then he just like hops on the screen and i'm like wow look at that man right there oh my gosh so pretty and i was like what what's on your lens that makes you look so nice i know right? what is going on i don't so, think there was anything i think that's just like the, he walks just, into a room and he just looks like that uh, look i'll tell you what i love him very much so so uh supercell <sighs> is out in theaters and mm -hmm. but also on demand right and, yep you can streaming on demand also it's also got you know ski ulrich and alec baldwin and ann hetch Het, Het, i don't know how yep, to say her last yep. name and what uh, wait, weren't you hanging out with skeet this past weekend i don't know if hanging out is like the term i just like got you... to take a picture with him and matthew lillard okay. but it's whatever you were at another con over the weekend you're yes. going to a con this weekend yes. you're gonna be all over you know pop con in yes. louisville except i'm being smart this weekend and i'm taking the next day off of work that way i can recover oh my gosh i can't believe that you didn't take i always have to take a day off well i didn't think con. about it you know i didn't think about it i was like i'm not i was like i'll be fine it's cool and and then like on Monday, I was like, I can't do it. Yeah. I'm going to call in sick. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, you're definitely if you if you if 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 they don't have to drag you out and give you medical attention after meeting Chris. Evans, Honestly, they might. You are still definitely going to need uh, going to need a, a, a self-care day. Oh, after definitely. That. All right, Jada. I know that there's so much more going on. What? Pop it. All right. Well. For all of my homies who love Gabrielle Union, because I love Gabrielle Union. I've yes. seen like almost every movie that she's been in. She posted a video of her and her daughter, who I'm gonna not gonna say her name because I know I'll butcher it. Okay. Um, they were doing their daily affirmations. And Aww. I don't have the video or anything, but I do have a picture of them. Um Oh my goodness. They're yeah. in the bathroom talking about their positive affirmations and things that they love about themselves. And Gabrielle Union in uh, the caption said, it starts at home. And I was like, that is so sweet. Oh. Like, they're just like, I love my skin and I love my hair and I love this about myself. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, that is so great. I love it so much. <laughs> it feels weird to, to to do, but once you get in the habit of it, you're like, man, oh, yeah. I should talk nicer to myself. I, you know, I should. I like, instead of like saying the things, I just like write out. But, and it's so funny because in one of Gabrielle Union's shows that she used to be on, her character would write out like quotes and stuff like that and have like post-it notes all over her house with like all these like awesome quotes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's me. Cause I can't like say the things, but if I see the things it's different. I gotcha. All yeah. right. Well, we're yeah. all about the positive vibes here. Yeah. So I love that. And we're, and you're not done yet. Are you? Well, it's pop -pop 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 -pop. Everything is always popping in pop culture. <laughs> Everything is always popping. Like, it's gonna be a long what's popping tonight. Well, okay. KJ kept sending me like all these what's poppins, and I was like, it's gonna, there's just so much popping in pop culture. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> One of my favorite all time comedians, actors, people, mm -hmm. Adam Sandler, just got the Mark Twain Prize for comedy. He did. He did. Oh, wow. Yes. He got it, I think, over the weekend, and like all of his friends were there, you know. Chris Rock and Steve Buscemi, his wife's kids, all that. They were all there. And it <laughs> you was... said Steve Buscemi like he was his wife. You know, Steve Buscemi, his wife. Steve Buscemi, <laughs> like, comma, right, okay. Adam Sandler's okay, wife. Thank it's you. not Steve Buscemi. Thank you. But yes, Adam Sandler won the Mark Twain Prize for comedy. And I, I was very proud of him. I have heard um, some, uh, you know, it's just like, it's, you know, positive back and forth uh but jennifer aniston and drew barrymore have been talking about who like maybe they should do a movie together with adam sandler because they should. they've worked with like a, a nice they love a, like should. a love triangle between at with adam oh. sandler jennifer aniston and drew barrymore oh that'd be i mean to be fair he's done he's done more movies with drew barrymore i think than he has jennifer aniston i think him and jennifer aniston only have 
three movies together. Mm-hmm. And him and Drew Barrymore have definitely more, and they go back way farther than, you know, him and Jennifer Aniston. Yeah, but there's no reason that uh, Jennifer couldn't go, uh, you know, get you know, know, man, it's it's about. That's what I'm saying. All right, we got a very special live guest coming up. Man, our wrestling fans are showing up tonight. Uh, Kevin Thorne, you may have known him as Kevin Thorne as a wrestler, maybe, maybe Mordecai. He is Kevin Furtig, and he is here. Uh, and we're going to be talking with him live. But as what? I promised, we're going to play Don't Screw the Crew please, a little please, bit can we not? early tonight. Why don't we just bring Kevin in here and we just don't even have to play well, Don't Screw the Crew. What I was thinking is if you guys need help, Kevin could be a lifeline. So, okay. you know, we can we can play Don't Screw the Crew. Kevin, and- don't screw us, Kevin. <laughs> we have a reputation to uphold. All right. Kevin is coming up. We uh, have Don't Screw the Crew coming up. Uh, next week, we have Jack Champion from He's Avatar, so The Way of the Water, and Scream 6. He is adorable, and he will be on the show next week. Avatar, The Way of the Water is out on demand now. So if you didn't see it in theaters or you want to see it again, you can now watch from your couch. Good, because that's a long movie, and I would love to be able to pause it and go pee. I agree. Let's turn <laughs> it over to producer Patches. Well, thank you, KJ. As everyone knows, the KJ Today Show is powered by the Town Post Network, helping us bring more positive vibes to our community. This Friday is a new Positive Vibes podcast with KJ featuring special guest musician Rich Hardesty. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get the Positive Vibes podcast brought to you by the Town Post Network too. And guys, speaking of our man Rich Hardesty, the KJ Concert Series. <laughs> yes. And the Little Nashville's live at the historic Brown County Playhouse on Saturday, May 20th. Get your tickets now at KJTodayShow.com. Yeah, brother. <laughs> That was awesome. I was yeah. one, I was wondering uh, because we have uh, we have uh, Kevin is is in the backstage area now, so he's watching everything we're doing, judging. I'm sorry, Jada, Kevin, and, uh, and he'll probably. I'm sorry. He'll, he'll probably be like, "Never mind," and hang up here in just a little bit. He said, "I'm never coming back to the show like, again." Is Pat just gonna do? Uh, is he gonna do yeah, his of voices? Course <laughs> of course he is. Pat just is. Of course he is. And he's probably going like gonna be like on ten. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh stand by kevin we have got don't screw the crew i'm sorry that's don't, don't screw, screw the crew, crew. Okay. playing a little early tonight we are playing to give away paw patrol live tickets oh my god i love paw patrol it's uh it's live this weekend april 1st and 2nd oh i'm very busy this weekend actually the Marah theater at the old national center and we are going to be playing don't screw the crew for crew number 121 bradley nice so the job of producer jonna and producer patches is to get two out of three trivia questions correct and if they do we don't screw the crew let's go all right all right you ready for this no Okay. All right. <laughs> you are ready for this. You yeah. are ready for this. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it its proper announcement here. Let's do this. It's time for Don't, Don't Screw uh, the Don't Crew. Screw. Yeah. 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 Our so first exciting. question yeah. goes to really Producer good. Patches. <laughs> okay. Ha ha ha. Producer Patches. Crap. The category is food. Ooh. What is the common name for dried plums? Dates. Prunes? Why are you helping know. him? I don't know. All right, no, because I, because I, I'm I, sorry. You, all right, number one, you know I don't eat healthy crap, so no, that, that's right. that's a cheap question. Well, listen. So that's what, was wrong, <laughs> but Jana was right. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is. All right, so it's point. It's point five of a of a of a right answer. All right. Sorry. Yes. 
Uh, Patches, your your mic got turned out a little bit again. Could you? Uh, right. I think because of you because you were uh, you were yelling so loud. We need to we, oh, we need to that, hear that. All right, is we that better now? Make sure you're talking into the right side. Please talk into the right the right side of the uh, microphone. Yeah. Patches, yes, totally, totally. Please, <laughs> Patches, please eat the microphone like you're supposed to. Oh, Thank yeah. you. We're gonna go there. <laughs> what what you guys don't know is that Patches side messages us sometimes, and he's like, "You need to get closer to the mic. You need to talk." Do, to yeah. the side. You always have to talk into the side of the microphone. So we're are, like, are, we, are we better now? Are we back back to where we need to be? I don't know, Patches. I still think you could be a little louder. All right, let's go. All right, okay, here we go. Better. All right, so we got the first one correct. This even though happens to us when we have a live guest. Even though you guys broke right. the rules. <laughs> Yeah, the first I didn't break correct. the rule. I'm sorry. I thought out loud because I was wondering it myself. We got it wrong, so it doesn't matter. My no. answer, my answer doesn't count. No, hey, I'm ma'am. giving it. I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, it's gonna count. I like I said, I'll take point. Wow, she's being so generous 25. tonight. Are you trying All to make right. us look good for Kevin? Is that what's happening? Maybe, maybe this has been the biggest mess of don't screw the crew. It's usually the thing that moves very smoothly on our show, and it's going terribly. Does it move smoothly? <laughs> Like that's wrong. Okay. All right. Uh producer Jana, question number two is geography. Oh. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Watch your language. I didn't cuss. Yeah, we're a family show. <laughs> Woohoo. Producer Jana, Area 51 is located in what US state? I'm just Jana. saying it's it's not it's it's definitely not an new old patches, state. don't you, it's a don't newer you dare? State. Don't you dare it's definitely a rule, a new there are state. rules here, there are rules. <laughs> Jada. Five. Arizona. Four. Three. Arizona, final answer. Are you sure Arizona is not as new as some other Jada. It's in Nevada. That was my second guess. <laughs> Dang, Nabbit! Oh, I'm so sorry, producer. This is why I tendered my resignation last week. (laughs) This doesn't even count. Okay, well, Shelly, don't yell at me, okay? This, this is it, guys. Do you want to bring? Do you want to bring our 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 guest in for question number three? Sure. You guys have an extra. uh, Let's. Sure. Okay, before we finish with, don't screw the crew. Let's give Bradley. A, uh, a hearty welcome. Bradley's sitting here on the edge of his seats. Like Sorry. his kids are si- <laughs> it, it, like, you've got a child sitting there and it, 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 we're, we're stressing him out. Like, are, is he going to get to go to Paw Patrol I'm this sorry. weekend? I don't know. All right. If I had money, I'd buy your Paw Patrol tickets. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Coming in to help us with Don't Screw the Crew. Ladies and gentlemen, I should have asked him for his walk on music, man. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kevin Furt. A-T-A-K-A, I can't even A-T-A. say it. A-T-A. A-T-A, Kevin <laughs> Thorne. Welcome to the KJ Today Show. Hey. Yeah. What's up, Kevin? Oh, my gosh. We're so excited to have you with us. Well, I'm excited to be here. So well, uh, don't screw the crew, huh? So what's the question? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Look, he's ready. You're right. He's yes. like, let's get right into this. Let's do this. Okay. He patches answers. He has to do it in wrestler voice again. Oh, you like the wrestler we'll voice? I like, do, I like the wrestler voice. <laughs> I think Patches has quite a few wrestler voices, to be honest with you. If you want more wrestler voices tonight. <laughs> All right. Question number three. The category is music. Okay. What Pharrell song encourages you to, quote, clap along if you feel like a room without a roof? Happy. Yep. Happy. Happy. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah. This should be Drew Vandenberg's walk up song. All right. I got that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. You're naming a darts player. We I'm naming a darts, darts player with a, prof- yeah, with a professional. Yeah. With a professional wrestler. Yes. Uh, Kevin, let me ask. Did you have any? Did you know that Pharrell song? Uh, I, I, I I did. I did. Okay. Cause I'm happy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's it. Okay. We're good. Yep. We're done. Back off, fellas. She's all mine. <laughs> Okay, so did we win? We did. Yay! Number one twenty-one, Bradley, who gets to take his adorable little boy to Paw Patrol Live. Oh my god! Heroes unite! 
April 1st and 2nd oh. at the Morale Theater at the Old National Center. He just commented and said, Liam is happy. Oh, yay! Oh. Liam is happy. I love Liam. Yay. He's such a cutie pie. Uh, next week, we do have another big giveaway. Guess what, you guys? It's William Shatner again. Uh, our planet. Can William Shatner just sponsor our show? Because, like, I mean, I he's been on here like 15 right? times. Right? Our feel planet. Like he's talking to us now. Live in concert, our planet live in concert, April 8th. William Shatner is the narrator for our planet. So you will hear his voice once again. If you want to win those tickets, go to kjcrew.com. Man, I just want it like, I love uh, Don't Screw the Crew, What's Poppin' with producer Jonna, dumb jokes. But I just really was like, let's just get all the stuff done so we can hang out with Kevin. Kevin, thank yes. you so much. Well, thanks for having me. Um, Funny, funny story on good old Captain Kirk. Uh, I, I got an autograph from him from a friend of mine. Um, and he was supposed to put two badass realtor and he put two the best realtor in the whole the whole world. So was, <laughs> he goes, I, I will not use language like that when I sign a signature. It was like, okay. <laughs> bad, okay, fine. Yeah, whatever. That so, doesn't surprise me. So, um, you know, you are, you know, you're right here in Indianapolis. And, mm -hmm. I, and I did not know that until our buddy uh, 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 Tom Britt with the Town Post Network was like, you haven't had Kevin on the show. You haven't had Kevin on the show. I'm like, no, I didn't know. Uh, so, yeah, because we just know Kevin personally <laughs> like that. <laughs> So Tom promised us that you are just full of amazing stories. And I can only imagine uh, how long were you in the, the wrestling world where you were like really well, on tour uh, doing this? wrestling's like a, like a bad habit. You never really get out of it. Um, like, <laughs> like I'll be doing an autograph signing actually here next, next weekend in Indianapolis square circle expo uh, oh, no it's, kidding. It's downtown by the airport. Um, I think it's at the, not the Marriott, uh, the Wyndham. The Wyndham. Yes. Okay. So, yep. So um, that's that. I, and I still do autograph signings. I do charity events when I can, uh, stuff like that. So I never really gotten out of it. Um, you know, it's, it just, you, you just continue to do things like this and, and just, just have fun and, 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 and use what, what stardom you, you have and, and, and have a blast. So do you find that, do you find that you have uh, like a lot of ring rust? Can you knock that off really quick when, once you get inside the square circle or is it, I mean, just got to hit the ropes and it's kind of loosen up or I'm not going to lie. Being a realtor for the last five years and getting a lot of free lunches for mortgage people and everything else. <laughs> uh, my, my, my ring rust is really bad and my belly is even bigger. So like, <laughs> like, 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 like when you're putting on the pants, it's like, oh man, this is, it's like, uh, you know, I just should not be in yoga pants anymore. <laughs> you know? You're like, oh, I'm squeezing into these things and they're supposed to be spandex. And I mean, your, your tights are looking at you like, oh dude, come on, man, you're killing us. <laughs> how much, uh, how much say do, do you have, do you have in what you're wearing like once you get to you know wwe and ecw uh, once, you, once you get to wwe EC, uh, you you pretty much uh you know you kind of know your character and you know what, what where you want to go with it so you you get a lot of you know creativity in it um and stuff um as, as long as it matches you know what you know kind of character you are um it, so uh, you know vince vince will always come up with the names he's a micromanager uh mordecai mm -hmm. was actually supposed to be malachi um, oh. so, because I wanted children of the corn. I was, yeah. I was, I still am scared to, as big as I am. I'm still scared to death to drive in cornfields to this day. Because Dude, I, I children mean, of the corn scarred like, oh, me. No, oh, no. <laughs> so, um, we, uh, uh, my dog, uh, whisper, we got it during COVID and, um, we got it from an Amish family up, up near Fort Wayne and driving through there and starting to see the buggies and everything else. I'm like, let's just get the dog and let's get out of here. That memory, it, it just started to turn and I'm like, it, once it goes dark, that's it. We got to go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I so feel I'm that. I'm throwing the kids I... out to the window to them. <laughs> the dogs, the dogs do you. So. <laughs> yeah, I grew up and I grew up in Wisconsin uh, mm -hmm. on a farm, and oh, yeah. you know, for some reason, like we were youngsters and we were like, "Oh, we're gonna watch a scary movie, ha yeah. ha It's gonna be, and you know, we, and we were, we went to Catholic church. And oh, yeah. we, uh, and literally my window was like right next to a cornfield. And so, oh, yeah. I mean, like I was 
just ruined. Right? <laughs> okay, like, yeah, I would have been moving. I would have been like, see, <laughs> see guys, I got to go. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, like I couldn't, Kevin, I couldn't tell. We like, we couldn't tell our parents. We had watched the scary movie that, that you know, they'd rented oh, yeah. it. And we weren't yep. supposed to watch it. So I couldn't tell them like, hi, I'm your child. And I am deeply traumatized for the rest <laughs> of my life. <laughs> And that's why I'm not sleeping. Uh, so, well, th well, that's, you know, it's interesting because you, you know, for people who maybe don't um, know a lot about the, the wrestling world, you went through sort of two different two incarnations, different right? Yep. So what did Mordecai come first? Mordecai came first. Okay. So uh, Mordecai, um, uh, it was with SmackDown. I was supposed to go against the Undertaker. It was kind of like a um, a priest that you know was going against going against the world um, and, and stuff. And I wore all white because you know I was supposed to be cleansed and and, and everything like that. So um, it, it was it was going going towards that way. Unfortunately, I was a dumb dumb. Uh, I'm trying not to cuss. Uh, <laughs> uh, Me too. And, and uh, maybe got in a small altercation in the bar right as it was all about to happen, and it just kind of went downhill from there uh i kind of lost lost vince's trust for a little bit i mean oh, they ended no. up hiring, hiring me back but it, it kind of kind of uh you know kind of kind of ruined it um uh, life lesson learned i was young i was dumb uh now um as soon as anybody gets starts to even look like they're gonna do something silly i'm like i'm out i'll see you guys i've, <laughs> I've been through this i've been through this and do not ever want to go through it again like you know so i'm like i'll, I'll see you guys later so i mean is um, it it's was it weird for you to be, you know, to be so young and then you're like, you know, you, oh, oh, Vince absolutely. McMahon has chosen you, yeah, right? Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, I was the chosen one. I mean, to, to face the Undertaker. I mean, that's probably the biggest, one of the biggest honors in the world. Uh, yeah. You know, I was, I was 28 and um, in the Stable Center in, in L.A. That was my debut. I mean, and I, uh, you know, I still remember like this can't be real this can't be real going in going into the gorilla position getting ready to go out but then they they really ruined it for me because here's the next best story is literally i've got this big white robe on and everything else and the pyro guy comes in and he starts spraying stuff on my white robe and i'm like what are you doing oh, he goes man, yeah he goes it's for your pyro and i'm like Dude, we never went over pyro today. <laughs> what are you talking about? So I didn't even know what my pyro was before I even went out there. I had no. Did idea. they give you a mark? Did they give you so, anything to uh, hit? Yeah, it was a green mark. But absolutely, uh, when you went out there, there was like six of them. So you didn't oh, hear God. like oh, okay, and they're like, once you drop that big cross, you're gonna hear loud percussion, and then flames are gonna are gonna shoot down the aisle. And I was like, okay, and I'm walking. And if if you go back and you watch that match, you'll see me and I'm walking and I'm just like, uh, one, two, three. I'm going to catch on fire for my first pay-per-view. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And I'm like, and uh, I don't know how loud this is about to be, but boom. And then it was, and then it was like, all right, I'm ready for this. But cool, there, I'm those, not on fire. Couple seconds, I'm like, I really wanted to take that in and you guys kind of ruined it for me, but whatever, like, you know, right. so, so it was, it was, it was definitely just, it was absolutely crazy, uh, you know, to, to, to be given that gift, you know, to be on that stage and, and, you know, and, and wrestle at that, at that age and be that young and, and you know, and, and get, a, you know, I, I got about three months out of it before, before we kind of, uh, as a, as S-H-I-T hit the fan. We'll put it that way. I'll, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll spell it. <laughs> you know, it's not cursing I, if you I spell don't, it. I don't want patches to have to keep bleeping. Right. <laughs> patches does not bleep anything out on no, this show. Actually, I'm usually the instigator, truth be told. So <laughs> That's uh, Jonna's job. <laughs> right. So, but, so now, um, I mean, in for a lot of our fans watching that, you know, they, they, they hear us, they hear us passively talking about, you know, like, you know, like KJ and I and Jonna as well are, are wrestling fans. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like they don't, they don't, a lot of people don't understand, like there is a lot of dues to be paid, like on the independent circuits, oh, a lot of that stuff. Absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of buildup before you even get noticed by anybody that's even in a topper, you know, like, not wrestling in a in a high school gymnasium or wrestling in a in a legion hall or stuff like that uh, absolutely um i started in memphis tennessee uh and it was a home of uswa and you know which jerry lawler and you know uh, just me, or the rock i mean so many yep. people came through and then oh, yeah. it ended up 
uh, becoming Power Pro Wrestling, uh, but it was a live live show every every Saturday morning at five on Channel Five, and it just had a it had a legacy. And I mean, the little studio that we were in, I mean, it felt so weird, but it felt so cool because all your all your friends are like, I watched you on TV today, you know. Right. I mean, you had cartoons, and then you had Saturday morning wrestling, and it was a religion yep. in Memphis. And once you got on there, it was it was it was insane. So. But, you know, I, I was lucky enough. Um, I met Sid Vicious in a, in a gym and started training with him. And he kind of brought me on really quickly into, into that. Um, but, you know, uh, that was developmental territory. They ended up moving it to Louisville. So then I was back on the Indies trying to get to Louisville. Um, you, and so that's kind of how that how that transpired. Um, and, and Louisville is Ohio Valley Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, it's still, you know, bringing out superstars to this day. So yeah, I think was, Al Snow is running that, is, yeah, doing, Al, is the head Al, training and all that Al stuff. Snow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Patches what, is going deep into the wrestling. Well, I, well, yeah, but, but, I have to leave him alone, well, but here, I think, I think Here's the thing about Kevin Ohio Valley around, wrestling yeah. that that Kevin, I'm assuming, will touch on. The, 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 the alumni from Ohio oh. Valley wrestling is... So, yeah, go ahead. It's Hall of Fame. I mean, like it, it's incredible the so who the are name. Some people, so, who are so my so my first that? so my first day there, I, I get I, I go to uh, Cincinnati <laughs> for for a for a tryout camp. I I get signed uh, by WWE and I get sent to Louisville. Uh, my first day, you have Batista in the locker room, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Shelton Benjamin. I mean, the list the list just went on and on and on. Randy Orton was probably uh, there Randy at the time. Or- uh, yeah. Randy Orton had just left. So oh, he had just taking, okay. Yeah, he had just been called up in, into him, and so was Brock. Brock was starting starting to go. Uh, my wife actually lived above Rock, and that's a whole different uh, or above Brock. So that's a whole different story, right? There. <laughs> uh, he could ride his motorcycle into his apartment. I oh mean, my gosh! Like, like, he's 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 a whole different animal. He's he's the coolest dude on the planet. He just doesn't care. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, so the stories there. are true. Yeah, and, and I mean, I'm I'm six three and two sixty five, then in good shape and young. And I mean, everybody in there is a, like a body Adonis. I mean, you're like going, oh my, like I don't even know. I, I probably will never see the WWE. And you know, and as you transpired, you wor- worked harder, you got better. You know, you figured out your character, and 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 then you know, you're kind of just in a holding cell there. It's basically a tri- AAA ball club. You know, it's like, all right, who are we going to pluck out this time? You know, and now they have NXT, which is in mm-hmm. Orlando, and they give a lot more TV time to those guys, developing those guys. But And it's, I mean, that facility is amazing. When I first yeah. got to uh, Louisville, we were in a old um, armory uh, from the Civil War. It had no, it had no AC. Wow. So, it, so in the hot summers in Louisville, you were literally, I mean, you would just be just, I mean, pouring sweat. And then it, uh, uh, it had a little bitty locker room and then there was no bathroom. So that was always fun. You know, because oh, yeah. I hate to say it, as a bunch of big guys, we take a lot of pre-workout and everything else and it just wants to go. And you got to go yeah. figure it out real quick. Yeah. You know? How stressful. Might have wiped with some leaves. I suggest not doing that. <laughs> oh my God. The things that you have to go through. I mean, there's, there's so much, I think, no matter like, what area of entertainment that you get into oh, that you are having those moments where you're like, this is so not glorious and amazing. Like I thought it was going to be. <laughs> right. Well, and- but you, you mentioned that, you know, um, you know, you mentioned William Shatner during your time, because there are a lot of, you know, celebrities that end up kind of coming and going and celebrities that are fans of wrestling. Did you have any of those other like moments where you're oh. like, I, I can't believe I'm in the room with this person. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Ozzy, uh, one of the one of the ones I was really just like, oh my goodness, was Ozzy in uh, Baltimore. Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne was there, and um, uh, Zach Zach Wild uh, was like, hey, yeah, Ozzy's in here. He loves your gimmick. You know, just come in here. I was all dressed up in the vampire stuff, and I go, uh, you know, and he's like, you know, talk. I'm like, I'm like, just just sitting there with eyes this big and everything else. <laughs> of course, I'm an idiot. I'm like. I should have had my camera. 
I should have got a picture. <laughs> like, like, and I didn't even ask anybody to get a picture. So it's like, you know, um, I mean, there's always guys coming through there. Shaq used to come through there all the time. LeBron used to come through there all the time. Um, you know, just uh, Luke Perry used to be there, all, you know, all, all the time. Really? Too. Huge, oh, yeah. huge wrestling, yeah. Yeah. And his son's a wrestler now. Uh, oh, is he really? really? Yeah, he's uh, called Jungle Boy, but he's he's a re- he's a wrestler. That's for his AEW. son for AEW. Mm-hmm. His, I did yeah, not knew that son. was Luke Perry's son. Oh my yeah, gosh! That's, that, yeah, that's his wow. son. So, that kid's yeah, got it, chops. I mean, you get you get. Um, I mean, it, and it's funny to see them act like little kids when they're backstage with us, and we're acting like little kids, but we're all trying to act like we're tough. Like, oh, they want to pitch with us. Yeah, it's like, right. Really, really, I wanted to pitch with you. You know. Right. So, yeah, the, yeah, balance that the cool factor is yeah, like okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, keep okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is it. This is it. Oh man. So, so so Kevin, let's um like let's fast forward to you know how how did you decide Indianapolis and real estate and and let you know let's talk about people watching right now because they can buy and sell their home with you. Absolutely. So Indianapolis, uh, my wife was from here and I met her in Louisville. Um, I, I, uh, my claim to fame there is I, uh, uh, well, I can't say that word. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I see, I see blocked John Cena cause John Cena was ah. there on a, de- a blind date with her. And I was like, Oh no, I gotta, I gotta figure this one out. She hated my guts <laughs> for like three months. And every time I'd see her out, I'd be like, you know, you know, all like trying to be all suave and stuff. And, and what's worse is, you know, I, even there I was playing uh, like a more gothic character and stuff like that. And I'm a, I'm a redneck. I mean, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm a, you know, I'm not, I'm not the gothic type, but I had all my fingernails painted black and all my hair black and red streaks. And I'm, you know, trying to, you know, and then I'm dressed totally different than I should be with this hair. And <laughs> and I, I don't, I, I, I you know, uh, her, her claim to fame is she's like, I only went out with you because I was going to get a free dinner. You know? <laughs> nice. <laughs> if, and from that day this on, good a reason still got me. I'm still here. So I guess it works. A lot of free uh, dinners later. <laughs> so, um, get, getting up here to uh, to Indianapolis, um, you know, once once we moved up here, I mean, there's no better place to raise your kids. Um, there's no better place uh, in, in the world to, um, you know, than Indianapolis. It's just a great culture, a great city. Um, you know, we've we've got we've got the best of best of everything. We got great sports teams. Well, uh, the Colts need to work on it, but um, you know, we've 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 got all that, but we don't have that big city feel. And I yes. and I think that's the coolest thing about this city is, I mean, for the most part, you know. Uh, you know, once 70 and everything opens up, we can get around really, really quick. Wait, okay, yeah, Sunday, man. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Please. And, and then now we're messing up 465 and 69. It's like, you not have orange cones somewhere in the city? Like, right. right. Like, Just one so, year. One year. So, yeah. Right. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, with with wrestling and stuff like that, being on the independent, sometimes uh, you, you have promoters that think they're Vince McMahon and they're not. Uh, so you'd go to a show and then all of a sudden, oh, the house was down and I, I know I promised you to pay you this and I'm going to pay you. Th- that's all I've got. So it's, you know, it, it started getting to a point where it's like, all right, I've got two little kids. I've, I've got to figure out something, um, you know, um, and my kids are, uh, getting into sports way too much. Let me just tell you, lacrosse is expensive. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, good Lord. Uh, oh, good. You know, hey, dad, I want to be on this travel team. I want to do that. Oh, yeah, great. I'm just going, mm, all right. Yeah, we're, 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 we're getting it. But, um, you know, my wife had an insurance agency and, uh, and, and we, we had that. And I just was starting to meet a lot of realtors and, and stuff. My sister, Laura, was a realtor and she said, you'd be great at this. Um, you know, you're personal, you'll have fun. You've got a great story. You know, people will be comfortable with you. Why don't you try it out? So I, I went and uh, went to the Tucker School of Real Estate and got my license and, and it, I hit the ground running and I kind of took my wrestling and made it in, into, into real estate. And I, you know, I call it, I call it wrestling with reality um, because, I, you know, basically, um, you know, I, I, yeah. The and I love your website. I mean, that, that is, that is perfect. <laughs> yeah. and, and I, you know, I've got a chance. I, I bring a championship belt with me to closings and, and put that on. them. And, you know, and I get, I get uh, people that are super fans and I get people that have no clue who I am. And, and by the end of it, they're like, "Hey, I watched you last night on YouTube. Holy cow! Did that hurt?" You know, it's like, so it's like I'm, I'm, everybody ends up being a fan anyway, so it's it's, it's pretty cool. 
<laughs> oh man, I, I I gotta go check out some of these pictures. I mean, I I we've we actually uh, we've bought two houses in our lives, but I went and got my real estate license after the first one because I was like, I, I you know I want to five houses. Heck, is it still there? Let's work. It, let's let's do something. I, I'm inactive, Kevin, but I well, feel like we should do something. Oh my god, KJ yeah. and Kevin selling houses. Let's do it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Let's I mean, I want to go out and, uh, you know, we need the women's belt. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, my God. Absolutely. <laughs> Kevin, I need you to sell me a house just because I want to see the belt. That's all oh, it is. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and people don't realize how heavy those actual belts are. Oh, it's yeah, it's it's 20 pounds at least. And this is yeah. a, uh, kind of a smaller guy. I made it kind of smaller because, uh, you know, I, I knew people would be like, oh, and almost drop it. So it's right. it, you know, some yeah, of the, some the, of the, the Miz are... was in uh, one time. He was coming through, uh, you know, as they do. They come here so often yeah. because people love WWE here. And he brought, uh, I think it was the United, the, the United. He was the U.S. champ at the time. Yeah, the yeah US, he was the U.S. champ at the time. Yeah. 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 And he was like, do you want to hold it? And I was like, yeah, I do. And like, I did that. Like, he, he handed it to me, like, be careful. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, hey, well, take I mean, it back. I'm going to break it. <laughs> I remember the time that. Seamus, when Seamus was the world champ, when they when they had the old the old school world championship belt, oh, yeah. he was in the studio. I I literally just took off work. I came into the studio with them while they did the interview, and he let me hold the belt. And I I was not expecting you know, like that's one of those ha ha wow that's that's heavy. <laughs> that's heavier than it looks. Absolutely. So I mean, even the divas title when when you worked uh, we worked with uh, Nikki uh, Nikki and Bree. Yeah, I mean, that divas title has some serious weight to it. Yeah, Absolutely. I have a picture with them, and they let me hold it. And I'm like, you can tell, like, if you know me, you can tell in my uh, my face that I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. can we hurry up? Hurry up. Yeah, hurry up. take the picture, take the picture. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, listen, Kevin, I wish we had more time. I think what we need to do because this show just moves so fast. I think Kevin uh, just needs to start his own wrestling show with patches. Uh, you know, I know that there's like a gazillion things you guys want to talk about. If well, maybe you need a, if you need a producer. Oh, Maybe hey, we, we could, do a special episode. Would you be uh, up for like doing a, a oh, special we could do it. sometime, we, Kevin? We could do a kind of nerdy dudes. Let's, well, let's do let's do a bonus kind of nerdy, nerdy dudes. dudes episode. Okay. We do that like maybe. Yes. Can I be invited to the kind of no. nerdy dudes? Of course you can. Absolutely. Of course you can. Uh, so you can follow <laughs> Kevin Instagram and, and Twitter. Uh, and, and then also, if you are looking to buy or sell a home, how much fun would it, it be to yeah, to to it do this so with fun. Kevin. <laughs> let's, let's go say the champ is home. Let's do it. Oh, the man. champ is home. Kevin, uh, this was so much fun. Like I said, this is not the last time that we are going to talk because oh, I can absolutely. tell. And, and you know, and you were talking about like the charity events and Indianapolis and Louisville. And I work with PopCon, which are both, you know, oh, yeah, in Indianapolis great. and Louisville. So um, let's uh, let's have a follow up conversation and figure out uh, how all the cool things that we can do together. Oh, Absolutely. man. KJ is going to have you work in so many things. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with it. going to be like, the champ isn't taking KJ's yeah. calls anymore. Yeah, man, KJ is <laughs> <KJ's laughs> going to be sending you a freaking W2. <laughs> hey, I'm okay the champ with is that. not. <laughs> yeah. I got right. Like I said, I got lacrosse to pay for. I'll take that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Before you know it, Kevin's a regular on the show. Right. <laughs> awesome. All right, Kevin. Kevin, have a good evening. Thank, thank you, you so Kevin. Much, Thanks, guys. Kevin. Thank Absolutely. So we'll show. see you again soon. That thank was you. Thank again. you. Oh, my goodness. That was uh, Kevin Fertig, a.k.a. Kevin Thorne, also Mordecai. What an amazing guest to have. Kevin, if you can hear me still, you have a great uh, beard. Oh, that yes. You. you are a beard girl. Yes. yes. He has a nice beard. <laughs> Just wanted you to know. All right, we have the pet of the week coming up, which again is Star Wars theme. If you uh, missed out on that, we have a tell me something good. Also, Star Wars theme. Oh my god! I know. But oh uh, first, I thought we would turn it over to producer Patches. Okay. I was going to talk about popcorn. We were just Ooh, talking about it. Here's popcorn. a little more information. Well, KJ, we all know the KJ Today Show is powered by PopCon, celebrating 10 years in Indianapolis 
and coming to Louisville too. Can you believe it? Love the cosplay? You can now enter the ultimate cosplay championships. Go to Popcon. <laughs> US and save the date. Pop on this June 16th through the 18th in Louisville and August 25th through the 27th oh, in Indy. This hurts. It hurts me. Patches. <laughs> I'm gonna buy Patches. Throat last yes, year. go ahead, Patches. Well, guys, also, if you'd like to know, KJ's next book signing is April 8th. Join what? her for the kickoff of the Indie Neighborhood Cats Yard Sale Donation Collection, Saturday, April 8th, 10 a.m. to noon. Get your signed copy of Raised by Cats behind the mics and the meows. <laughs> and bring items you no longer need to help us raise money in the largest yard sale in the city. Thank Back you so to much. you, KJ. Thank wow, you Patches. so much, Patches. Patches, I'm going to buy you some throat lozenges. <laughs> I know. I'm totally good, man. I'm totally <laughs> or, good. Or make you drink some chem some chamomile tea. <laughs> All right. Uh, it is uh, time for Tell Me Something Good. And we have a lot of good news to get to tonight. So let's kick it off. Everybody knows their part, right? Patches? Yes. Okay. Here we go. It's good. time for. <laughs> Take two. Take two patches. But listen, the show's gonna run late and it's gonna be your fault. Look, Thank I'm you. not I'm not gonna clap again, okay? This is the last time. Okay. You gotta say take two. Oh, take two. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for tell me something. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Glad we figured that out. All right, we kick One day we'll off, get it, I promise. We kick off oh, tonight's good news <laughs> with Lindsay, who is celebrating a promotion at Ooh, work. Congratulations. Good job, Lindsay. Yes. And Rhonda, whose very most favorite musical act is going on tour in the fall. Queen and Adam Lambert. Ooh, that's good. Yes. Oh, and nice. she has always loved them, and she's getting tickets. I love that. Yay. Nice. All right. And from Lauren, Zachary Tinkle got an ARCA career best finish at Five Flags Speedway with KJ on the car. Nice. Shout out. Look at the KJ Today logo on the car. Congratulations. To that Zachary looks good. Tinkle. We will be with him all season long on his NASCAR ARCA series tour. And tonight we have a very special birthday to celebrate. His name is Joey and his mother went and got him a stormtrooper balloon to celebrate his birthday. And it was a little bit bigger than she expected. Oh, poor Spike. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly at Conquest Journals uh, for posting that. I oh, immediately said, we need to wish Joey a happy birthday. Happy I, birthday, Joey. I have got happy to birthday, show people that storm, that storm <laughs> bigger than The Stormtrooper is bigger than Shelly is. It is. It's so oh, funny. my gosh. If you've got some good news, you can always tell us something good in the comments live during the show or watch for me on Facebook. Hey, Jay. To ask for your good news. Jonna has good news. Go ahead, Jonna. Five days until I meet Chris Evans. I'm sorry, what? Five days until I meet Chris Evans. Five days until you meet Chris Evans. Woo! Oh my God. What's going this, on? This is gonna Five happen. days until I meet Chris Evans, badges. <laughs> John is very excited. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so oh, I can't wait. And I already told KJ that I was going to like make a copy of my picture that way because like when the camera goes back to KJ, her solo shot. You can see her picture of her and Chris Evans behind her. I'm going to print out a picture and frame it and put it up there with hers. Look at, I can't nice. even point straight. Yep. Like and I then know. everybody who donated to the uh, John Agosi Chris Evans fund will be getting uh, their Christmas 
card. Honestly, it's gonna be my Christmas card this year, so everybody's gonna get one. Like, I don't even care. <laughs> I'm shocked like, by this development. I'm gonna get like ten thousand <laughs> of these bad. I don't need, like. I'm just gonna walk around my apartment complex, just like handing oh, them like, hey, God. Merry Christmas from apartment F, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do that in July. Hey, look, on your apartment look if you want a Jonna and Chris Evans Christmas card, send me your address. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna have to do another GoFundMe for for, for stamps. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, as I mentioned, we also have a little Star Wars themed pet of the week going on again follow me on facebook because we ask on facebook for your pet of the week and we are going to get right to these it's it's a dog and a cat and they're besties they are i love it our pet of the week is chewy and vader so cute vader is the cat chewy is the dog as a matter of fact chewy is half the size of vader seven pounds for the dog 14 pounds for vader my goodness Uh, that's a big boy yeah so they adopted vader from arpo yay yay he was the only black cat out of seven all the others were orange and nobody wanted him then they found chewy from a lady who couldn't handle him and they think he was there like on his third or fourth home they are now best friends together as you can see hang out all the time they sleep together they play together and guess what vader even gives baths to chewy (laughs) and chewy does not even care a fun fact they are both male fixed and they hump each other all the time which mom lisa says (laughs) is incredibly embarrassing when they have a company (laughs) (laughs) man they just love each other so much i just can't help it look at those babies they just love their best pals man (laughs) so cute Thank you so much to Lisa for sharing Chewy and Vader with us tonight on the Pet of the Week. Woo. We have What's Cooking with Patches coming up here after the show. God, it I is that picture. Why? <laughs> Just keep going. Okay. <laughs> Your mic was on. Your mic was on, dude. Oops, I forgot to mute that one. My uh, bad. <laughs> head over to my Facebook page to watch what's cooking with patches. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. It has been an absolute blast. You bring us positive vibes. I hope that we are doing the same for you. Remember that next week you can join us once again live on Wednesday nights. Watch us on YouTube and next week's special guest is jack champion who you know as spider from avatar the way of the water he was in scream six which is still out in theaters mm-hmm. and uh he's the kid that paul rudd yells at when he gets back after the blip oh he's kid on bike he's kid on bike omg yes so we actually are going to talk to him about being kid on bike he's been he's been in, been in the avengers and the avatar franchises like i mean you know and he's a kid I wish. I know. All oh. right. Let's head down to the kitchen, Jonna. We got to do the end credits, KJ. I know. I, I will say, please watch the end credits. I I laughed so hard making these end credits today. I almost uh, decided to play them at the beginning of the show. I'm crying. Okay. Here we go. It's the end of the show. Everybody's favorite part. Everybody's favorite part.